assist Mr. Hal Hahu. Thank you, Chair. I have some comments rather than questions. First of all, I want to thank the Commission for the report. It is a lengthy, comprehensive, and detailed paper that clearly outlines different technical options, reviews their feasibility and pros and cons, and makes certain recommendations. So, as the title suggests, this is a technical study. As I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, the Smart Borders package, and more specifically, the entry-exit system, does not add any new dimension or rules or a level of control to border crossing. It is rather an update of existing systems made possible by technological development and uh, made necessary by the growing number of third country nationals traveling to the Union. The objectives of the package seem quite clear to facilitate smoother crossing for those who are not expected to cause trouble and to make life more difficult for people who do not obey the rules criminals, human smugglers, overstayers, and people traveling with someone else's uh, travel documents. It also shifts the focus from the nationality of the traveler to the travelers themselves, which I think is a good thing. The entry-exit system also helps to gather reliable statistical data on what is going on in Europe. For example, how many overstayers there actually are. When we make any political decisions concerning movement and migration, those decisions should be based on facts. Finally, when we discuss the cost of any of the alternatives, which, as we heard, will be published later, we should bear in mind that uh, not doing anything will also be potentially expensive. For example, because that means we will be needing more border guards not to mention the indirect consequences of unreliable and or inefficient border management. Thank you very much.